you have probably done this before in your school days right scanning the index of a textbook to find the appropriate page now the experience of indexing in databases like mongodb is also similar without having to browse through all the other data in the database we can just quickly jump to the appropriate location in memory by simply looking at the index by reducing the number of documents our database must search through to find a specific document so indexing allows us to significantly increase the database performance on that note hello everyone i hope you guys are doing good and staying safe welcome to simply code youtube channel and in today's session we'll be discussing all about advanced indexing in mongodb but before we get started if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already consider getting subscribed to our channel simply code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us so without any further ado let's get started with today's topic so what is advanced indexing now we all know what indexing is mongodb right which is an essential component which improves the performance of the data retrieval speed in the database so mongodb indexing is a special data structure on which the index is created to hold the data of specific fields of documents and in the absence of indexing in mongodb there is a need to scan every collection document to select those uh, that match the query statement now in our previous tutorial on indexing in mongodb we have just covered the basic uh, you know indexing techniques like on single field and comp and compound uh, fields right so now what if the database is working on array of uh, fields within a collection right uh, so let's say if i have a students database and in that i am working on sub documents that is documents that have array of fields in them so in such case the indexing becomes quite difficult so if there is no indexing done on a collection of thousands of document your query will keep finding specific document in order be it a single field uh, multiple fields or even array of fields so it becomes quite difficult you know to retrieve the value so indexes are applied at the collection level and it can store the value of specific field or a set of fields so before jumping into why uh, i mean how exactly advanced indexing works on you know array of fields let us understand uh, you know why why we need advanced indexing you know in addition to the normal indexing that we do uh, in mongodb so for that let us jump into my uh, mongodb compass for explanation so as you can see mongodb compass has started and in our database simply code one we have two different collection that is employee and new employees here now if you if i click at the new employees it basically opens uh, the document fields now you can see we have like almost around 33000 documents and we have one index which is basically done on the id field if you look at go to the indexes page we have the id field which is already indexed now if you consider uh, these many documents right these huge tons amounts of documents like we have 33k and if i try to uh, find a particular document let's say uh, i want to file uh, a name you know based on the name i am trying to field uh, i think we have different names here right so let's just take department here right so we have department field so i'm just finding value like let's say uh, i'm trying to find all the documents which has police as the department name so i'll just write police and try to search it so close the brackets and let us try to find so it will basically find all the documents or uh, within the collection that has department as police here now if i go to the explanation of this right let's just click on explanation now if i uh, look the query performance of this uh, document or the query that i've written for uh, you know to find the uh, details of all the uh, you know employees or the people working in a company and the background i'm trying to find what all uh, the documents that i want here right so if you look at here we have a total of 32928 documents and in that we have documents returned are 13590 now it indirectly impacts the performance guys now if you see we have 33000 documents it is searching each and every document where the department uh, is police so and after searching each and every record uh, uh, record it is basically retrieving all the documents so we have around 13590 which is close to around 14k and if you look at the actual query time it is around 23 milliseconds 
so that is quite a huge uh, you know amount of time for a database to process such information now let's say if i have like millions like 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs of documents in such case the time taken is more so in such case we will basically create an index here now we all know how to create a single index and a multiple index so let's just create an index and we'll see how it actually affects the uh, you know uh, the query performance so i'm just creating an index on department field and i'm basically uh, indexing in ascending so i'm just basically one i'm keeping it as one so as you can see uh, we have created successfully uh, the index for the department uh, field here so let us now try to uh, find uh, the data that is the department of that is the employees or the uh, people working as a polis so if i try to find this and if i go to the exp again explanation part so you can see now we have a total of 13590 documents now instead of searching all the documents that is 33000 we can directly reference uh, refer only those documents that are required to us so you can see index key examined only 13590 and you can see actual query execution time has reduced a bit more like 17 ms i think that is also a quite huge but i don't think uh, that is you know uh, that can affect actually so you can see this is how index works now let's say if i create multiple index uh, let's say if i'm trying to find multiple uh, you know fields so in that case let us see how it actually impacts all right so let us now understand how it works for a compound field so when you are trying to uh, index uh, multiple fields let us see how the query performance does so let us now uh, find uh, you know the details of the employees whose department is police and let's say the job titles is sergeant so in that case i'll basically search for department field where the department is police and put a comma and I'm, the job title that i'm searching for is basically sergeant so mention sergeant okay close the brackets and let us now find the documents so if you look at it will only display all the uh, details of employees whose basically job title is sergeant and department is police so let us now understand how it is executing so let us explain uh, click on the explain button so you can, you can see that uh, the documents it is examining is basically the all the documents that is present in the collection that is 32,928 now out of that it is returning 12 uh, 296 so as you can see it is a time taking process it is going through each and every document now thing is we only have only around 1300 documents where the department is police and the job title is sergeant so instead of that what i'll do is i'll basically index the uh, both department as well as the job title as well so let us just create another index here well, firstly for department create index so let us create another index for job title and let us create an index again so as you can see we have created the index successfully so let us now try to find the documents all right it will find that it will fetch all the documents and let us now uh, basically uh, click on the explain and see how it does so as you can see now the documents that is that it examined now is 1296 which we have seen earlier that oh, all the details of employees whose department is police and the job title is sergeant so after creating an index it is only searching only those documents whose department is police and sergeant as you can see the actual query execution time is also reduced drastically from almost 432 milliseconds to almost 16 milliseconds so it will also vary like if you click again it will change to 6 milliseconds now that it has find the details so it keeps on changing so index basically provides the user to efficiently uh, navigate through that data which is required by them instead of searching the whole data so, so now you might be wondering why we need advanced uh, technique now let's say if i have uh, sub array fields in this documents so in that case i need to query those documents quickly right now it will take more time than single field or a compound field now that is where we use a, a advanced indexing to uh, index sub uh, array fields or sub documents so let us now understand how advanced indexing works and why we have uh, you know 
went through all that uh, scenario on MongoDB compass where we have understood how indexing works for a single field as well as compounding field and the need for advanced indexing. Now let's say I have a document of students. Uh, let's say I have their student ID, their name, age, courses. Now for courses field, I have another additional, uh, you know, array, array section where I'm uh, mentioning the course ID, course name and course credits. So in that case, we have an array field here, right? So in such case, we'll use advanced indexing. Now advanced indexing is basically just another process where we're using another technique, right? So let's say if I have 20 million such uh, records, right, 20 such million uh, documents present in my collection, it will take a lot of time. So this is where we need to use indexing process again. So let's say if you're indexing an array field, the syntax for that would be db.collection.createIndex mention the array field name that is and the order so i am creating an index on courses right uh, which is an array field there so the query would be db.students.createIndex courses and mention the order that is one now you can also further uh, you know index sub document fields right now instead of just uh, uh, indexing the array field you can also index the sub document field so let's just understand the syntax here that is db.collection.createIndex field name dot sub document field name and the order now why we are doing this now suppose that we want to search documents you know based on the course id course name or even the core uh, course credits now since all these fields are part of the courses sub document field right which will will create an index here on all the fields of the sub, -doc sub document now in this example i've created an index field on a sub document which is course id similarly you can also create for course name as well as the course credit also so the query is followed as db.students create index courses.course id and i'm mentioning the order as one so once the index is created we can search for any of the sub document fields utilizing this uh, you know query now remember that the query expression has to follow the order of the index specified that is either 1 or minus 1 otherwise you will get an error. So in this way we can use uh, a technique which is advanced indexing in order to query the array fields as well as sub document fields. Now in addition to that we have some other advanced indexing techniques which is uh, another three types of uh, indexing techniques in MongoDB which is First one is geospatial index. Now MongoDB uses 2D index and 2D sphere to increase the efficiency of database queries while dealing with the ge uh, geospatial coordinate data. Next we also have text index which provides uh, support to text search queries on string content. So basically text indexes can include any field whose value is a string or an array of string elements. And finally we have hashed index. Now basically hashed index keep tracks of the entries with hashes of the values of the index field which is almost always the uh, underscore id field which is created by default in all the collection now this kind of index is primarily necessary when you are sharding data to distribute it evenly now if you want to learn more about sharding we have a dedicated video on that as well so make sure to check that uh, on our channel and that brings us to the end of today's session guys so in this way you can use uh, advanced indexing uh, to create an index on you know multi key compound uh, you know fields as well so let's say if you have a document with an array field you can just create indexing for an array field creating an index on an array in turn creates separate index entries for each of its fields so it will basically separate uh, create an index to an array field so it will help you to find the documents with which are having any array field values as well so i hope you understood uh, all the techniques and how we implement advanced indexing in mongodb thank you for watching the video guys if you found this tutorial informative and helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest if you want to learn more about mongodb we have a dedicated playlist on mongodb on our channel so make sure you check that out stay tuned for more such amazing content until next time stay safe and keep coding